it folks, my name is Jürgen aka Nerd and Proud of It and Destiny has brought you to my channel today to look at something very very special and it is not this brown envelope, no, it actually has something to do with this poster here. I made a video about this, it was one of my first videos I think. It's a poster I really love, I had it in my room for years and years. It's by Mark Tedin and Anson Maddox and that piece of art that triggered so much imagination in me. I always wanted to connect the pieces of the different uh, yeah, little figures and uh, things that were going on to actual Magic the Gathering cards. And I was talking to Brenda Maddox about a couple of things and she actually had a piece or yeah, the original piece of art actually in the background. And I was, wow, this is awesome. I made a video about this. I love this piece of art. This is so cool. And she was like, yeah, we're doing a new print and that's the, for the first time they are doing this for like I think yeah almost 30 years I don't think they have done one in between and I was uh, yeah I think Brenda you could say I was begging you to send me one right because I really really love that piece of art and um, not only has Brenda sent me one but uh, yeah if I am correct there should actually be uh, some signatures on there as well but let's have a look first at this card Brenda included. Jürgen, hello dear friend. I tried very hard to simply send this by itself but found it impossible to not include a personal note. Brief as it may be, please know how much Anson and I appreciate you and all you do for the community with your channel. Looking forward to catching up with you after you return from your travels. Stay frosty! Ah, with hugs, Brenda. That's so kind. I uh, love that, Brenda. Thanks a lot for that. I think um, Anson and Brenda both are really, really lovely people and I appreciate them a lot and the communication I'm able to have with them about art and about uh, other things. Um, really cool. Look at Anson's site. Uh, the, the, the stuff he has on there is fantastic. Um, I'm not a suck up, but I don't lie if I say Anson is uh, definitely uh, one of my favorite Magic the Gathering artists, if not my favorite. His art influenced me a lot. It influenced actually my playstyle a lot back in the day, even because some of his cards were so cool. I had to include them in my deck. Let's have a look at this. Um, this is a new print of this piece of art. And what is so fantastic about it is uh, not only that it's uh, a new print, <laughs> which is amazing by itself, because I got uh, to ex I get to experience uh, that art again, and I can uh, frame it and put it next to my original poster. Um, but also, it is signed by Anson and it is signed by Mark, and I appreciate that a lot. I'm really really happy about this. And I, if you stick around to the end of the video, you will get a little idea why I'm so enthusiastic about these signatures uh, it's it has to do with like um, yeah sticking to Magic the Gathering and uh, being focused and actually achieving goals and dreams you were thinking you couldn't achieve something very special to me as well is that I got an explanation actually of the different figures the different parts of the drawing and you see this here, I received this from Brenda and Anson actually kind of um, showed the parts Mark has done and uh, he has done. And I am um, really amazed that after 30 years I actually get some more info about the painting and about the art, uh, the piece of art in general. And we're gonna have a look at the different pieces because I, like I said, I was this this thing sparked my imagination. It, it was literally one of the few posters I had on my wall back in my room back in Germany, and I was looking at it every day. And uh, yeah, it hung right above my bed. So every time I lay in bed and I didn't have anything to do and I dreamt the day away, I was looking at the different pieces of art here. So there was an explanation given by Anson, but not by uh, Mark. Uh, but uh, I will talk specifically about Anson's. This is. To me it's a mage but apparently it's a planeswalker because Anson told me this one actually is a planeswalker 
and she is holding a living artifact in her hand and i recognized that back in the day but this is very very cool so this is a planeswalker holding a living artifact and she's actually shooting an energy bolt towards that creature and i always thought that was a dragon but you will hear in a second that it wasn't a dragon i always thought she was shooting a chain lightning because she's hitting the creature and then she's uh, the guy is deflecting it but the creature actually which makes sense is like a vampire bat like a bat like creature uh anson said and when i look at it now that really really makes sense to me because it looks like it it doesn't really look like a dragon it looked like a strange dragon but it looks like a cool bat and as anson has drawn the vampire bat as well in legends it, now it completely makes sense so this already this piece of information already cleared up so much for me this up there uh, by mark i assume it's a chaos orb um again i didn't get the explanation only for Anson's part but I hope I will be able to get Mark's explanation as well but uh, it looks very much like a chaos orb to me so yeah um, correct me if I'm wrong or let me know what you guys think then uh, if you move away from there's so much going on if you move away from the chaos orb let's take the minotaur here I always thought it was a hurlan minotaur because uh, hurlan minotaurs uh, the, the the card has been drawn by Anson as well so I thought like hey that's probably it but Anson actually told me it's like an undead hurlan necromancer so that's like a hurlan race um, so this is uh, yeah hurlan minotaur race or, or something uh, and he's he's actually a necromancer which was pretty pretty cool because it didn't look like a fighting minor tower with an axe or whatever but yeah and a necromancer definitely makes sense then we got uh, something from Mark here it's um, like a creature that's throwing a spear I always thought yeah I, I couldn't place it and I still can't really to be honest I'm not quite sure what uh what kind of creature uh, it is but uh hopefully in the future mark can clear that up for me you never know this one is by ensign again uh, and he called it a tribalistic split mohawk crude boned armored lancer and i love that <laughs> i never would have guessed that but that is pretty pretty awesome i really have to remember that tribalistic split mohawk crude bone armored lancer really cool um the the statue in the back um anson didn't really know if he or uh, mark drew it and the guy that is unfortunately um being hit with the spear by the monster on the left um he is to me it looks a bit like a merfolk but merfolk has been merfolk of the pearl trident has been drawn by jeff a mangus um but yeah so there's still some stuff unclear but to be honest folks <laughs> this this is after 30 years i get an explanation for a lot of stuff i've been wondering about for 30 years and i'm actually getting an explanation by one of the artists himself so this is uh to me this is a highlight of my of my day maybe my week maybe my month i i love this and i've been on holiday so uh yeah i had a lot of highlights this month <laughs> no but honestly this uh this is so cool um not only of course have i received this beautiful beautiful print but um if you look at the bottom here i um am very grateful that um yeah just just quickly have a look uh, at it but at the bottom here i'm very grateful that mark tedin actually signed it and anson signed it so um this was pretty special to me because uh, brenda um actually sent the the print to Mark after Anson signed it and then Mark signed it and sent it to me at least that's how I understood it and uh, I never um, yeah this this is how kind these these people are they are just um, involved with the community um, in, a, in a in a really kind and communicative and and friendly way I, I honestly I love that um, so thanks again for everybody uh, to everybody involved um, Anson of course Brenda of course and uh, Mark as well um, for sending me this uh, 
lovely load bre lovely note brenda I, I i always appreciate that uh, these little things and i'm not i'm not a suck up if i if i like you i tell you i like you and i like these people so uh, yeah it is what it is you always have to express uh, as long as you can you have to express what you what you think about people what makes this so uh, sis? <laughs> this was very German. What makes this so special for me as well is listen to this, folks. I actually never thought I would get this. I think it's a pretty awesome piece of artwork because there's so much going on, and I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I uh, this is this is something I would like to get signed by uh, by both artists. That would be pretty cool, but uh, yeah, probably no chance for that. Folks, I recorded a short clip of the video I made a couple of years ago. And as you heard, I never thought I would get this piece signed. And uh, not only have I got it, it signed, I got an explanation with it. And um, I actually got a really, really cool print that uh, went uh, through the hands of uh, both of the artists. Um, yeah, folks, the, the life takes unexpected unexpected turns sometimes um, to me that uh, sometimes still is a mystery how after so many years some things just fall um, into place like a puzzle it's it's super weird this 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 to me is is really weird and I'm really grateful for that um, and I said thank you a couple of times but uh, I'm saying it again who cares uh, yeah it's uh, it's pretty special to me, but I think that's uh, that's pretty clear. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's keep it to this, folks. <sighs> I hope I, I was very worried about making this video because I wanted to express how enthusiastic and excited I am about this, and I hope it came across in the right way. And I um, really was a bit worried that um some parts of the video were not uh would not come across uh, as i hope they will um so yeah i i wanted to add that at the end that um i did my best to uh to show my appreciation uh my honest appreciation um of getting this wonderful uh wonderful piece of art signed by uh mark and ensign and um I did my best, uh, of of course, uh, showing um, my appreciation to uh, Brenda, uh, who arranges a lot of stuff and uh, is just a very kind soul. And I mostly communicate with her. So, uh, yeah, um, I wanted to make sure that comes across the right way. Let me know if it did. Um, I, I would appreciate that. Folks, uh, stay healthy, stay frosty. Uh, what else can I add? Thanks a lot for listening. I talk to you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very important to me and maybe it's a little bit important to you as well. Keep on dreaming. It, it, it is what it is. Sometimes uh, things happen uh, and sometimes, uh, yeah, the puzzle gets completed. And this one is almost completed. <laughs> I talk to you next time, folks. Bye bye.